several other ministers of God were invited. But quite unusual, I got to the venue a bit earlier. And so I was under the ministration of the speaker before me. And she happens to be a woman of God who I pray that none of you here will ever go through the testimonies she gave. But one or two of those testimonies was prayer point for me. And when I remember the topic God gave me for this morning, I said maybe this is one of the reasons why I'm here a bit early. This lady was in a broad study And suddenly she had a voice go back to Nigeria. She had what? Go back to Nigeria. And she came to Nigeria not knowing what is in the offering. And then a friend with her boss invited her to a restaurant and why in that restaurant somewhere on the island close to Broad Street the voice came why seated it in? he said remove your cloth I think before he said remove your cloth he said stand, stand, sit, he sit stand, he stand he said, remove your cloth right there in that big restaurant she removed her cloth. And that was the beginning of a journey of eight years of insanity. Insanity that was treated as fever for eight years. She had a strange voice. He went through affliction that made her at age 50 no husband. No what? No husband. As she was coming out of insanity, he had a dream. A tall, huge man wearing red came, touched her breast, and she was diagnosed for cancer. That took another three years. Can I pray for only one person here? Brethren, a lot of us are taking this Jesus for granted. <laughs> if they ask you to pray, you'll be, you'll be doing, you, 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 I don't know, you'll be packaging. <laughs> Brethren, when the enemy wants to deal with you, <laughs> they don't want to see your packaging. That's why I'm praying for somebody here. Grace to be fervent in the spirit. May it descend upon you today. <laughs> Our topic this morning is when the father is at work. But somebody listening to me this morning, my daddy will be at work concerning your destiny. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Well, then this is not time for packaging. This is not time for what? No, sir. No, sir. That's why I'm begging all of you. Every member of this church, please take advantage of what you have. Take what? I'm praying for you. Enemy will not see you. So you fire three prayer arrows. Before we go into the ministration, how many prayer arrows? It was later it was discovered. He is a lady from a very rich home. It was somebody in the family that decided to torment her. Why she ran mad? The brother also in the U.S. also ran mad. 
while she suffered cancer another of her sister also suffered cancer that one died instead but she couldn't die because she had made Christ lift up your two hands I don't think at this junction I need to beg you to pray you will cry loud and clear and say father every house of battle I can't hear loud and clear every house of battle waiting ahead of me and my children oh God my father go into my future and destroy can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God maropote gazun talimama Rob let my shin talibaba. Every house of battle <laughs> waiting ahead, 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 ahead of you and your children. Makuka payala. So so boni masa pon ligla and gala. Je keto no poko to gazin talimama. Ne prae ke te gazunta la brondo gazin talimama. Jimala kakuta gazo kaka makato da lakuta gazianta la baba broko ta gazinta la baba kashendelele oh god of heaven repair every house of battle ahead of me ahead of my children masuka bale prada thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name we are praying her testimony was similar to a man that God healed under one of her administration at a crusade who had a dream a pharmacist in that dream somebody tapped him and he turned and that was how he became dumb and deaf instantly and they were taking him all about. As a matter of fact, he was brought hibernating in the white garment church at the location where we were having go fishing, where we were ministering. That he just strayed into the crusade. And thank God for this God who intervened in his case. It was the following day when he came to the church that was now explaining his ordeal. By then he's already talking. He's already hearing. And the affliction was gone. I am praying for you, sir. You will not be a victim of evil dreams. So lift up your two hands and fire your second prayer and cry loud and clear. And say, My father, my father, my father. You can do better. Say, My father, my father, my father. All the days of my life, let me not be victim of evil dreams. Go ahead and touch it, Almighty God, that you not be victim of evil dreams. Is someone praying at all? Makuta ba yela boka sianta limama. Rakuta gazoka pa. I will not be victim. But then pray, 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 pray with all your heart. I will not be victim of evil dreams. Makuta bashanta le baba Rakakuta gazende lele basuta baye kakuta Rakapo basianda la boshanta la 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 Brokoto gazika ka My children will not be victim of evil dreams Posinta lika kutabla de kasuta lea In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Right then, as you are praying and believing and trusting God, that your prayer will be answered. Amen. You are saying amen, say loud and clear. Amen. Tell the third prayer arrow as you lift up your two hands. In that name, there is above every other name. None of us shall hear strange voice. Amen. Evil voice that will control you unto destruction you will never hear. Amen. And listen to me, 
As you are taking that prayer, my daddy is moving in our midst, touching lives, ensuring that you become untouchable. As you are taking this next prayer, the fire of God will come upon you afresh. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Say, Father! Say, Father! For the rest of my life, let me know he has raised Open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God. I will not hear a strange voice. Oh, my sika pata gazunta la la la. Oh, paten de li hosapa yabala. Kagabo, my children will not hear a strange voice. Oh, pasita da li putoyo. Jibole ke te gaguta ba yababa. Brakato gazianda la le katu gaga. Brokoto gazike le prada kasantalia. Zelebos kata. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Most I God. Amen. Hallelujah. We say you are the Oh yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Special daddy. Wonderful daddy. Great daddy. Marvelous daddy. Glorious daddy. We reference you this morning. We say may your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are the all knowing. Thank you because you are the all seeing. Thank you because nothing about you that you are not aware. We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, even as we are standing before you, as our faces are different, so is our challenges, troubles, pains, and situation. But in all this, oh God, you remain God. This morning, oh God, Father, attend to every one of us in the name of Jesus. Daddy, before the ministration be over, everyone you need to touch specially, let them receive your touch. Anyone you need to heal, Lord, heal them. Anyone you need to deliver, Daddy, deliver them. Anyone you need to bless, Daddy, bless them. Anyone, oh God, you need to promote, Lord, promote them. Anyone you need to settle, Lord, settle all this morning. Thank you, mighty Father, for we pray in Jesus' name. I say, somebody will say better, amen. Can you jam your hands together one more time? If you don't mind, can I tell you congratulations ahead? I say, if you don't mind, can I tell you congratulations ahead? Because you will see the result of your prayers. I'm so confident, I am so bold that this morning something unusual will happen to somebody. <laughs> I know you don't believe me. Say it is Pastor Avosa. We are used to him. I pray that familiarity will not rob you this morning. Be seated in his presence. Don't forget tomorrow morning, thank God it's public holiday. We'll be having our anointing service and we'll be talking about the comforter from the Father part two. If I were here, if you were here last Monday, I know you will not miss tomorrow. May the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. Say the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. And I want to encourage every one of us who are sowing to the building project to continue to sow. And if you have not, I beg you, don't go there a tenant. And the Lord bless you really good in Jesus' name. When the Father is at work. When who is at work? The Father. John chapter 11, sorry, John chapter 9, verse 1 to 11. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 11. And as Jesus passed by, 
May he pass by this morning. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man seen nor his parents, but that the works, can I say the works, the works of God should be made manifest in him. May the work of God be made manifest in your life. Amen. Then he went straight away, verse 4, and said, I must walk the works of him that sent me Why it is day. The night cometh when no man can walk. Verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Silo, which is by interpretation, saint. He went his way therefore and washed and came seeing somebody will see. The neighbor therefore and they which before had seen him that he was blind said, is not this he that sat and begged? Your story will change. Yeah. Who they used to know you to be, the Lord will change your story. Yeah. Maybe I should just pray for only one person. Never again will you ever beg. Yeah. Some said, This is he. Other said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. Therefore said they unto him, How were thy eyes open? He answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eye and said unto me, Go to the pool of Silo and wash. And I went and washed, and I received sight. When the Father is at work. This is a very familiar story to every one of us. And as a matter of fact, I have had cause to preach from this Bible passage severally. But definitely not this dimension that the Holy Ghost gave for the purpose of this meeting. Jesus saw this young man born blind and true to human condemnation. When people see your predicament, they condemn you. They barbite you. They say all manners of things. As a matter of fact, for the disciple to ask questions, it's as a result of the various gossip and barbiting that must have gone on concerning the young man. Because every now and then when they see the young man, I say, this was born blind. Now, wow. Maybe papa na wizard. His mama na winch. Praise God. Or these ones are already cursed. How can somebody be born blind? Or this boy too. He must have seen. And Jesus used his situation to explain the works of the Father. He said, it is not a question of sin, but God wants to manifest 
his works. And now went ahead and said, I must walk the walk of my father. The question any reasonable person will ask will be, what is the work of the father? That Jesus said, I must walk the walk of my what? As a matter of fact, I say, he said, he said, I will walk the world when it is day. For night come and when no man can walk. What transpired after the coming of Jesus tells us straight away what the works of the Father will be or was or is. And the first thing we could deduce is that the work of the father is the work of creation and recreation. The work of the father is what? The work of what? Creation and recreation. In other words, the one that created can recreate. For the Bible says that we are created and made by God. Hello. According to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And you don't know what? When it comes to creation, all that the Lord did was summarized in a sentence that they were very good. <laughs> they were very what? Oh. Read your Bible, verse 31 of that Genesis chapter 1 says, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was what? Good or? What did you see there? Very good. Everything God created was very good. But in the case of this young man, there was ugliness in him. <laughs> Will you still say that God's work is not very good? Extraordinarily very good. Can I pray for you, sir? Every ugliness in your life shall end up glorifying your father. Yeah. Only one person said amen. Yeah. Maybe I should repeat myself. In that name that is above every other name. Every ugliness in your life shall end up glorifying your father. Yeah. Beloved, talking about the work of creation and recreation. From our Bible passage, you discover that in creating and recreating, God can go into your foundation. In other words, God can go into your past. Don't forget, it was at the creation of this young man that God deliberately did not put eyes for him. Hello? Is that your Bible? Of course, yes. Because the disciple asked, this man must have been a product of sin. But Jesus said no because he was the one that was at the beginning. How did Jesus knew? Hello? How did Jesus knew? Because John chapter 1 verse 1 said in the beginning was the world and the world was with God and the world was God. Praise the Lord. And he was the one that was when? At the beginning. And so there is nothing about your foundation that God the Father does not know. And that's why I stand here today and I decree in that name that is above every other name. Anything wrong in your foundation, let it be attended to. No, in the name of Jesus. Only one person is saying, Amen. Can you stand on your feet? Can you stand on your feet? Listen to me, sir. You may be wearing a good look. You may be dressing with the best color of dresses. But you know what? When something is wrong in your foundation, it's not going to show. 
You two may not even know it. You two may not even do what? You will not know it. But the problem of this young man was before his birth. Because scientists made us to know that every feature about a baby is concluded with how many hours? Doctors are not in our midst. I'm not a medical practitioner. But I learned that within the first one to two months, am I correct? Uh, you know, pastors are jack of all trade, master of none. <laughs> Praise God. But I had and I learned that within the first two months, everything had been formed, including the sex of the child, either male or female. So, what actually got wrong with the guy was a foundation problem. And when the father want to do his work, he works on foundation. And the Bible says, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I stand here as the servant of the Most High God, and I decree concerning somebody that in the father doing his work, his power will go into your foundation. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Amen. So you will lift up your two hands. Every problem you inherited before you were born that is affecting your life negatively, let the power of God locate you now and rectify it. Amen. That that was foundational problem in the life of this young man was rectified by Jesus, the one that taught the work of the Father. Lift up your two hands. But then, please, sir, I told you at the beginning, don't come to this place and be packaging. I'm not saying packaging is wrong. I'm not saying packaging is bad. As a partner of fact, packaging is an enhancer. It enhances your beauty. Am I correct? But not when it is time for prayers. <laughs> no when it is what? No, sir. Forget about packaging. Lift up your two hands. But when enemy want to deal with you, they don't look at your packaging. Lift up the hand. Because there are specific work that my father want to do here. If paraventure your situation is traceable to your foundation, the almighty God by his outstretched hand will rectify anything wrong with your foundation. Lift up those two hands and cry loud and clear. Forget about your neighbor and say, My father, my father, my father. It can be louder. Say, My father, my father, my father. Do your works in my foundation and let my life not be ruined. Let my destiny not be destroyed. Walk upon my foundation. Open your mouth and cry to the Almighty God. Let every faulty foundation be corrected. Let every faulty foundation be rectified. Go rapata le pranda gazanda. Bo roma te gazulta la prende kaka. Bo roma sienta le gazuka ya laba. Ye ke 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 ke. Every problem traceable to your foundation. Let solution come now. Let solution come now. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, my children, we have prayed. Stretch out your hands to the altar. If only my father can hear a louder amen from you, the miracles are already happening. In that name, there is above every other name. Anyone under the influence of my father with 40 foundation, let it be ratified by fire in the name of Jesus. Pakatoga Zika Tondalia. Anything in your foundation that have been affecting your destiny I decree right now let the work of the father perfect it now in the name of Jesus oh every problem that you have been carrying about uh, traceable to your foundation by the works of the father let solution come I said let solution come I said let solution come I said, let solution come. I said, let solution come. If it is healing, let solution come. If it's emotional, let solution come. In the name of 
Lord Jesus. Masukaba yikatali. Zopoto gazianda li prakuta gazanda li. Thank you, mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. You see that? The work of creation can be in the past and can be in the present. Can be in what? In the past and can be in the present. As a matter of fact, for this young man in our Bible passage, the problem that was traceable to his foundation transcend his foundation to his present. From his mother's womb, foundation, he was blind. He kept growing in blindness to the present day that the Lord had an encounter with him. So the problem was both past and present. So when you talk about the works of the father, he can actually solve present problems. He can do what? He can create and recreate things that in the present. In other words, as you are seated here, there are things that have happened to you presently that you need his intervention, that you need him to create or recreate. I am praying for you. God will work on your present. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. I say, if you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. If you want to know example of what I was talking about, in the case of the widow of Zarephath, her problem was as a result of the famine. Am I correct? But the father works his work in her life and all throughout famine, she was eating and drinking without begging, without borrowing. I am praying for you, sir. If you have been affected with the economy of this nation, I decree, my father will comfort you and walk in your presence. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. I say, if you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Either you believe it or not, it was the work of creation in Second King chapter 6 when the ass head had to swim. It was a present problem. They were trying to fetch uh, wood so that they can enlarge their coast and suddenly the ass head fell into water and ordinarily by law or gravity that ass head is supposed to sink but when it is the creator and the one that can recreate that is at work, he can decide to make iron wood or wood and iron. Let's all shout hallelujah. And suddenly there was transfer of power and iron became wood and wood became iron and the asset flowed back and began to swim and they were able to pick it. I stand here today. Every present problem that you are having, stand on your feet. Stand off. I, there is a God that can create and recreate. Brethren, I want you to go back home reminiscing on the fact that this God, He is the creator. And when He's at work, then whatever challenge you are having is nothing to Him. It's nothing to Him. Particularly human made problems. Because most of the present problems are traceable to human nature, which God can solve. Which God can do what? Maybe I should prophesy to just one person. Whatever present problem that are in your life. You know, when I do tell you people that, I tell you come to the program, declarations will go forth, things will happen. You may not see many results. After a while, because it's just that, see, this message that I'm preaching, I'm just at the introduction. I've not started though. I'm using the first service to do introduction. <laughs> Praise God. You had a testimony here last week. A sister that had a swollen hand that the doctor recommended surgical operation. She left the meeting after suddenly on her own just saw that the swollen did what? Disappear. 
You had another testimony just a while ago. Or someone who came to the VG with what? Pains. I mean severe pains. Only go back home. Amen. She said she applied nothing. Glory be to God. But the truth is that the pain is what? It's not gone. There are some of you here. After you must have left this morning. Before sunset today, you will see solution coming to your problem. <laughs> if you are saying amen, say loud and clear. I said, you are saying amen, say loud and clear. Amen. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, every present problem in my life, oh God, my Father, be at war. Solve my problem. Solve my challenges. Let there be a solution. Can you go ahead and touch with Almighty God? Masuka ba ye katunda la la. Rekete kazunta blande kasinta li mama. Rapoto brekete kasunta li baba. Rakuta kapa ye kete kazunta li baba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Can I pray for only one person? In that name that is above every other name. If you can say three powerful amen, solution has come to any problem in your life. Amen. 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 Then be let me give you the last one and then we close for this service. Because my time is fast spent. Um, eating three minutes. Lastly, when the father is at work concerning creation, he can work your future. I told you he can work in the past, he can work in the present, and he can work where? In the future. When he works in your future, he performs wonders beyond your imagination. For instance, in the case of this young man, even with his present situation, that have turned him to a mockery because the mocker were already mocking him. When suddenly his eyes got open, they were now beginning to ask, Is he the one? Is he not the one? No, he can't be. Then he said, I am. He, he said, let, let, let me quote the right scripture. Amen, somebody? He said, I am he. Don't bother to, to disturb your brain. I am he. I am the one. I mean, I am the one. The blind man. Eh, the beggar. Eh, the one that you have written. Eh, I am the one. Hello. The father walks into his future. So that for the rest of his life, he will no longer be blind and he will no longer beg. There's somebody here, sir. I don't know your situation. But one thing I know is that your tomorrow is perfectly all right. Why? Whatever your situation now, he can perform wonders in your tomorrow. Because the Bible says in that book of Exodus, chapter 15, verses 10 to 10, it says, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in doing wonder. He said, Thou stretchest out thy right hand, the earth swallow them. To give them peace in their future. Every enemy that will be pursuing you, they will not get you. And that's why I can stand here and speak authoritatively. Wonders are ahead of you. And not to seven person. Don't conclude about me. <laughs> I said, tell seven person. You are still standing where you are. Tell seven person. Don't conclude about me. I didn't. I, I have not. I have not concluded about you. <laughs> Praise God. Tell them, don't conclude about me. Don't conclude about me. Don't conclude about me. Don't conclude about me. Amen, somebody? Hello? They concluded about him that he was a beggar. Unknown.
that a wonder will take care of his future whereby he will no longer beg whereby he will no longer be blind whereby he can now he say I receive my sight listen to me I don't have time to go into that word sight it's loaded my father will walk he walk <laughs> both in your past in your present and in your future and turn you to a wonder I pity those that have concluded concerning you because they will see the wonder of God the brothers of Joseph concluded concerning him but they saw the wonder in the future can you know sir do you know man that wonder is awaiting you in the future listen to me sir many of you here looking at me looking at me I'm looking at you seeing me and I'm seeing you with time to come with time to come even myself will not recognize you again I say I will not recognize you again and for information very soon you will not recognize me again so you lift up your two hands as I close in that name that is above every other name you will cry loud and cry say father turn my tomorrow to wonder <laughs> can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God let this God turn your tomorrow to wonder <laughs> those that have concluded concerning you let them be disappointed hey karema to and alaboskali Zapote Gazunta Liba. Let my tomorrow be all right. Brother, pray, brother, pray, brother, pray. The father walked his work in his life and took care of his tomorrow. Took care of his tomorrow that he will no longer beg, that he cannot see. Oh my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Do you know that word? I receive my sight. Number one meaning of it is that I cannot behold beauty. I cannot behold what? No, he that when he was blind. Even if they want to marry for him, whoever they give to him, he go take. He don't know whether whether he fine or he no fine. <laughs> Praise God. But after I have received his sight, oh boy, he get to market, he go look where. Like pastor, look and find someone. That's always what I <laughs> Praise the Lord. We are talking about sight, isn't it? Oh my God. You, <laughs> oh, lift up your two hands. <laughs> Make her not go there. <laughs> Make her not go there. <laughs> Can I pray for somebody? <laughs> In that name that is above every other that name. What you are not able to see before now. Opportunities you are not able to see. And the Lord work concerning your future. You will see. I say receive sight to see. Open your eyes. If you want him to walk in your past, your present and your future, you must have a relationship with him. That lady that I share her testimony, one thing is that her case started when she never knew Christ. But when she knew Christ, she was able to curtail it and today it is testimony. I don't know who is here. You want to come to Christ. You want to come to the Father. Or you want to rededicate your life to him. Can you wave your right hand and I pray with you? Is there anyone? God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Another person? Another person? My sister, if you don't mind, can you just take a walk to the altar? Let me pray with you. God bless you, man. God bless you. Any other person? Any other person? The God that is able to walk on your past, walk in your present, and walk into your future. Maybe in the second service, I will spend a little time on sight. Say, I've received my sight. In other words, darkness has disappeared. Now I am light. That's why Jesus said, as long as I am in this world, I am light. He said, I have given him light. I have given him what? 
Do you know many of you have your eyes open and you are walking in darkness? Until you know Christ, you don't come to light. Mighty Father, I pray for your daughter. Have mercy on her. Save her soul. Redeem her from destruction. Rewrite her name in the book of life. And at your returning, let her reign with you. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. My dear sister, please follow that, my sister, one minute. Then stretch out your hands to the daughter. Let me just pray a prayer for you. In that name that is above every other name. Because we are talking about when the father is at work. The father shall be at work concerning your life. He will work on your past. He will work on your present. He will work in your future. And in that name that is above every other name. He will turn you to wonders. His light will cover you all the days of your life. You never walk in blindness anymore. You will behold glory and beauty of the both side. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful women want to go. Two and three.